question number one, which student has fulfilled the GE Foundation's social and behavioral sciences requirement? Dana. Dana, that's correct. She took Econ 101 and Political Science 103. So two courses from that list from two different departments. Okay, next table up, number two, which students fulfilled the GE Foundation's physical, life, and lab science requirements? Lauren. Lauren. Any other students? Jay. Jay. Jay and Lauren both. So Lauren. I have a question. Yeah. So for Chem 200, it's listed as general chemistry. Bio 204 is listed as principles of organismal biology. How would we know that that counts towards the GE? Yeah. It's one of the advanced. Can somebody else answer that question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of like, uh, it says in the catalog that if it's a science degree or any of that sort, you have to go to that specific major to see if it qualifies for a GE. And if you go to the chemistry page, it says that they need to take Chem 200 and Bio 204 for a GE and um, preparation for the major. Okay. Excellent. I saw a hand up over here. Yeah, I was just wondering, um, does, does Oceanography 100 include a lab? It does. Okay. Yeah. And the easiest way to see that is by going to Ocean 100 in the catalog, and you'll notice that it's four units. Okay, thanks. Yeah, if it's four or more units, that means it's packaged together. Did we have another question in the back? Thank you. Any other questions? Or are we good? Oh, that was my question. I was wondering why there wasn't a lab there. Why it covered. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so that's yeah, that's if that's you that's go that's that's to that's that's it that's that's in the catalog, and you'll see that it's four units. If it's four units or more, that means the lab is packaged with it. Okay. Yep. Okay, next table up, number three. Which student has fulfilled what? Oh, okay. Which student has fulfilled the GE Foundation's humanities requirement? Chris. Chris. Okay. Because he took one course from four of the five areas. How come Amber didn't clear it? She took two courses. Yeah, she took two courses from the same area, so that's not gonna count. Okay, next table up, number four, who has filled their GE explorations? Victor, nursing major, because of what he took. Now, there's a little bit of a trick question in there. Does anyone, well, I know one person knows. Does anyone know why Jillian did not complete her requirements? Oh, we couldn't find theology. Because it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it used to exist, by the way. And last year, when I was upgrading uh, the or updating the answer key and the quizzes or the activities, I actually decided to keep it in there because how can it clear a requirement if the course doesn't exist? Um, okay. And Jackie, any any guesses on to why Jackie did not fulfill her her GE explorations? <laughs> She's a history major, so she cannot take an upper division history class for the exploration. It's perfect. Okay, next table up, number five. Tom is a management major and took the following four courses to fulfill GE oral communication, composition, intermediate composition, and math. Did he fulfill all four GE areas? So he's got COM 103 with a grade of C, RWS 100 with a B plus, STAT 119, received a grade of credit in Africana Studies 200 with a grade of A minus. Did he complete his golden four? No, where am I? This one? This one? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. The answer is no. Okay. And why? Yeah, exactly. Stats 119 cannot be taken for credit and credit. Any table that wants to answer. Number six, Andrew is a psychology major. Can he take Africana studies for GE Humanities, Philosophy and Religious Studies, considering that he took the following courses for other areas of GE? Africana Studies 120 for GE Comp, Africana Studies 200 for GE Intermediate Comp, Africana Studies 270 for GE Foundation Social and Behavioral, and Africana Studies 260 for GE Foundation's Humanities Literature. No. Which maximum rule is he violating? <coughs> right, but which one? There's three, right? There's 12, 10, and 7. The 12, you got it. 
Yep. Okay, number seven. Christine is a sociology major. Can she take Women's Studies 325 for GE Exploration Social and Behavioral Science considering she took the following courses from other areas of GE? Women's Studies for GE Foundations Humanities and Women, or 102, sorry, Women's Studies 102 and Women's Studies 382 for GE Explorations Natural Sciences. No. What is she violating? Seven units. The max of seven units. Okay. So spoiler alert. On next week's quiz, and on the final, I'm going to ask a lot of questions about this, because it's really important for our students to understand this natural rule. And when I give you a scenario, I'm specifically asking you which policy is being violated. So don't just tell me maximum units in GE. I want to know that you know whether it's 12, 10, or 7. Okay? Perfect. All right. Um, so number eight. Which of the following transfer students only need to complete GE Explorations, their upper division, at SDSU? All of them. All of them. Because they all cleared their lower division by different ways. Any questions on that? Okay, great. All right. So, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> pay attention to that was a great question so the question is on quizzes and the final will it ever be like that where you might have to circle everything that applies versus you having there always be in all of the above and the answer is yes okay so if I say which of the following if there's more than one then circle the correct answers does that answer your question yeah all right perfect okay so I'm going to talk, before I talk about next week, I want to talk about the quizzes a little bit more. So first of all, how retakes are going to work. If you need to take a retake, it'll be, um, if you get below an 80% on the quiz, you have to take the retake. I will be, um, today is a little bit of an exception, but going forward, I will be giving those names to Frankie along with the retake by Thursday. Frankie, help me out. What time did we agree on? Uh, you're going to be giving them to me Thursday morning? Thursday morning, yes. Okay. So the following Thursday, we didn't set it. Uh, okay, perfect. Sometime in the morning. He will be reaching out to each of you, letting you know that you have to come in and take a retake. You will have um, Thursday, Friday, Monday. The retakes must be taken and turned back into Frankie. Tuesday, I... Noon? Noon. Um, if you fail to take that retake by Tuesday at noon, um, then unfortunately you're going to be stuck with that first score. The quizzes are going to increasingly get difficult, okay? So you have to make sure that you're reading the question thoroughly and that you're reading the answers that I provided. Or if it's a, um, you know, if I'm asking you to write in the answer, make sure that you're reading the question thoroughly and that you're kind of paying attention to what you're writing down. All right, so next week, so today we went over general education. We only have one graduation requirement remaining, so it's going to be major and minor information, and that's what we'll go over next week. And I'm going to turn it over to Frankie. Okay. Let's give um, Heather a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for all you've been doing thus far. Um, you know, she's great at what she does. And um, continue to ask questions. You know, I know today I could see there was a little bit more of a challenge in understanding some of the material, which is fine. We expect that. Um, and as Heather said, you know, um, it is going to build on each other, and it's going to get more challenging. So um, continue to ask those questions. Uh, if you're unsure of something, page numbers, whatever it is, this is your training. Uh, so this is your opportunity, if you're not understanding something, to ask uh, during training. Um, and if you're still unclear, you know, uh, let us know and we'll, we'll give you extra support. Uh, the uh, TIs are also here to support you all. Uh, Eunice and I will help you as well as best as we can. Uh, or we'll direct you back to Heather if you don't know the answer. <laughs> um, so let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Um, so.
small group presentation practice assessments are coming up. Um, it seems I've been getting some feedback from the TI that we haven't been as diligent in reviewing, not all of you, but um, some of you, the uh, script. And I want to reiterate the expectations. Um, so for your small group presentation practice, so you should be treating it like an assessment. When you meet with one of the TIs, and I believe we start uh, the second week of March, um, you are essentially going to be doing a small group presentation. So we don't want to waste your time. We don't want you to waste their time. Because they will stop it if you are not prepared for that small group presentation. Uh, so this is your opportunity to essentially give your presentation and for them to give you feedback. So that when you have your uh, actual assessment, the second week we come back from spring break, you're ready to go. Um, so making sure that you are reviewing your script, you're practicing, just like you did for your tour assessment. Um, you should be practicing with one another, with roommates, with whomever, um, because you really are gonna uh, need to make sure that you're, you're feeling comfortable with the material <coughs> and that you're facilitating that small group presentation. Um, was there anything else on that, Eunice, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, making sure that these next couple of weeks, I know y'all are gonna start getting busier with midterms and everything, uh, but we gave you that script the second week of the semester, so no excuses to not have gone over it, okay? So make sure you're continuing to do that if you haven't. Anything else for small group? <coughs> Yes, so for those of you uh, who came in to training today, um, is it okay if you have any doors next door? So we're going to have you go next door. Natalie's going to um, give you the, the quiz. Um, but besides that, we should be good to go. Yes. yes. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week.